Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas. I hope everyone's having a really good day. Today I figured I would do my makeup with you um, because why not? This is YouTube, that's what people do here. They do their makeup. Um, just a disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I quite frankly am sometimes like really shit at doing my own makeup, but I love doing makeup and I love finding new techniques and products. I always have. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite things to use on my face. Let's get into it. Um, I was with my friends last night. We had a little girl's Christmas gathering and gift exchange. It was really, really fun. Um, but my one friend was mentioning she, she's like, you know how some holidays just remind you of certain people? Christmas reminds me of you. And I was like, oh, weirdly, I was like kind of embarrassed when she first said it. But then I was like, no, that makes sense. I just love the holidays. I don't go crazy with decorations. I do decorate. I put up a tree and I put up like lights like behind me and that kind of thing. Um, and I definitely like light a lot of festive candles and things, but I don't go super all out with decorations. Um, I've just never really had a ton of space or an abundance of money at the holidays where I'm like able to do that kind of thing on my own yet. But hopefully one day I'll have my own house and I can, I can go a little buck wild. Today I just have to get ready for the day, so I figured I would do a little get ready with me with some of my current favorite items. Um, and this will be more of kind of the items that I go to for the winter months. The weather in Toronto has unfortunately already started changing. So it's really freaking cold. Um, so I'll show you guys what I do, or what I've been doing I guess, and uh, take you along for the ride. So I prep my skin, I just have moisturizer on top of my skin at the moment. Um, and then what am I gonna start with? I'm gonna mix this guy, whose title or label is actually getting worn off. You know, I've used a product a lot when. So this is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Um, this is in color 903, which is the medium glow. So I like to just mix this in with things, um, things. I like to just mix this in with whatever base I'm using, especially lately, because it's been getting colder and it just adds a kind of some extra luminosity to my skin. And I've just been finding it really helps. So I'm going to use the Derma Blend. This is their Smooth Liquid Camo Medium Coverage Foundation. This has SPF 25 in it, which is great. And I have the color Natural 25. So... It's quite honestly like not exactly a perfect shade match right now because I've gone some sort of iridescent color. I'm so pale, I'm not sure what's happening, but um, so I just get it on the back of my hand like this and I'm gonna mix these two together and then just dot this all over my face. I'm not gonna use a ton because this is what I do every day um, and the Derma Blend actually is quite a lot of coverage but it's still kind of a breathable foundation, which I like. Um, so I still have some on the back of my hand, but I'm just gonna start with this and I'm gonna work it in with my fingers. I don't know if you could hear that. My neighbors upstairs are banging around. These ceilings have just, or these walls, I guess, just have the worst, insul not insulation, but like sound barrier. You can hear everything, it's really frustrating. So as you can see, it does provide quite a nice coverage and color um, without looking like you have too, too much makeup on, um, which is forever, honestly, my goal in life is like to, <laughs> well, other than to have perfect skin to not need to wear anything ever, um, is just to be able to feel like I don't really have anything on my skin, you know? Um, so that's looking good. I think I might just, with some of the excess, just try and build it up on some of these problem areas a little bit more. I've been watching some people's vlogmases so far because I'm actually filming this on the 2nd of December. Um, I am pre-filming a little bit. I know in an ideal world, I would be filming the videos the day of and then editing them in the afternoon or evening to put them up. That's kind of, at least for me, how I enjoy watching vlogmas. Like my favorite is pure vlogs that are actually happening that day that get edited and go up that night. Like I just find that makes you feel really like in time with the creator or the, the YouTuber, just makes you feel really like you're part of that world of theirs. 
Um, and that's kind of what the fun of Vlogmas is. And you're going along on the same timing as them, which I find is like the nicest part because the holidays, at least if you celebrate Christmas, have such a, a typical like trajectory. I guess December's like a really busy month. There's like holiday parties and you're decorated and you're cooking and you're doing all these things. So I fly in find vlogmas is like a nice opportunity to get to like go through it with someone in a way um you kind of feel more a part of it than you might nor otherwise not normally um but i work full-time job for those of you who know um i work in advertising and i work 9 to like 6 p.m sometimes a bit later sometimes a bit earlier and it just seems really impossible for me to do it that way because I mean, the vlogs would be incredibly boring. I would be sitting at my desk and I think that might be illegal to shoot in my company. Um, no, I would never do that. It would be the worst. Um, so yeah, I wanted to participate in Vlogmas as much as I could so that there will be some vlogs in here. Um, they won't be super long, to be honest. They'll be pretty quick, I'm sure. Um, the first day I did post um, a vlog of Zach and I going to get our tree. Okay, so I have this base on. I think it's looking pretty good. It actually isn't a terrible match right now. Okay, so for concealer, I'm just gonna use a little bit of NARS Creamy Matte, Matte, Soft Matte Creamy, oh my gosh, I can't speak today. You know what it is, it's the NARS Matte Concealer. And I don't usually love this as an under eye concealer, and in the winter months especially, I would not normally reach for this, but for some reason right now, I'm just really, I'm really wanting like a really light amount, like the bare minimum amount of concealer that I can get away with. And I feel like this is a good one to just almost like spot conceal, but for the bags under your eyes. So, you know what's funny? For the longest time, I thought that under eye circles were the bags under your eyes. And I only realized in my adult years that that saying refers to the like puffiness where it's like a bag under your eye, which makes sense. Um, but I guess I just always kind of assumed. I was like, yeah, I have bags, I have bags. I very rarely actually have bags. I have incredibly dark circles because it's just like in my genetics. Anyways, <laughs> useless tidbits of information for you. Um, so just kind of applying a little bit in spots that I see fit. This is not covering at all. Thank you so much, Sid. I really appreciate that. Um, that's fine. I didn't actually bring a lot of makeup onto this counter with me. We'll just leave it like that. That'll have to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Nudies. This is in Bondi Bay. Good old Bondi. Missed that place. Um, and I'm just gonna draw some lines because it's a stick, so that's kind of what you need to do with this. Um, oh. Okay, and there you go. No, obviously not. Uh, I am going to use this Tarte brush that I bought and I've used so much and I can't decide if I actually like it anymore, but I have it. So I'm using it and I'm just gonna use this to buff in that color. Um, I definitely don't want any lines, especially because I am so pale. I want to blend this quite a bit, so. Going to blending town. Oh, I feel like that was like too hard. I feel like I'm like shoving this in my face. Um, so we put up our tree and it's behind where the camera is and you guys will see it lots on Vlogmas, but I just, I love when you put up a Christmas tree. It just makes the house so like cheerful. Even mornings we have to get up really early and go to work and that's the last thing you want to do. I feel like the holidays just help with all of that, you know? They definitely help with any stress levels I may have. Okay, so now that's giving me a little bit of a glow to the face, which I enjoy. Okay, now, what do I wanna do? I guess I'll set, no. I cannot figure out what I wanna do right now. Because this is my everyday, I'm not gonna do any sort of eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna go to the brows now. I brush them up as you do. I feel like everyone does this. I brush them up and then I just fill them in. So um, I 
definitely work into this arch because it is the problem area of my brows is my my left brows arch is like really thin and it drives me insane I actually think I might get it microbladed and thinking about that I think I might have mentioned that in a video already um, but I'm thinking about getting it microbladed because I think that would just be Okay, that's all I'm honestly gonna do because it's my everyday makeup routine, you know? I'm just gonna brush it through again, try and make these look as naturally awesome as possible. Oh, I lied. I'm gonna see one. Alrighty. Um, using this essence make me brow which is a little bit too close to gimme brow but it's fine this brow gel is just all right in my opinion um a couple others i really want to try though <laughs> i love the look of a brushed up eyebrow but i haven't had mine trimmed so they like when i brush them up right now they've got like a lot of stragglers I'm just gonna have to do that. Okay. So now I'm gonna do some blush. I am using this Hourglass Ambient Blush in Mood Exposure. It's this really beautiful, kind of slightly shimmered, really beautiful light pink with like a darker pink woven through. And it is a really nice blush. Let's see. I just feel like it gives such a nice like kind of in between like a rosy and a bright blush. Um, that too much blush? I don't know. It's one of those days where I just don't know what I want, what I don't want. So we'll go with that. Um, now I am going to use my Essence Pure Nude love this stuff as you guys know i am going to take this sephora brush this is the let's see if it says anywhere this is the highlight illuminator brush from sephora and it is quite a nice brush so if you're in the mood for brushes i would check out the sephora um in-house line because it's really quite nice. I love the tip of the nose lately. I'm really obsessed with highlighting it. I'm actually going to run the, this across my eyelids. Just the whole dang thing. Is that enough shimmer? This highlight, honestly, I don't know if you guys can tell, it just gives the most natural, beautiful, like, just like lit effect. I cannot say enough good things about it. Okay, now I'm using my Hourglass Veil Powder. And I'm going to use that same brush though, actually, and I'm gonna take it under, oh, my eyes. And my chin. And last but not least, up here in between my brows. I love an everyday look of makeup, but so much of the time I go to work with like really quite awful makeup, I wanna say. Okay, so sorry, now I'm using the Marc Jacobs Lip Liner. This is in the color Nudist. Honestly, amazing nude lip liner. I am so obsessed with the Marc Jacobs Lip Liners. And then I'm going to use Tarte's Salt Life Lipstick. This stuff is great. I 
And now mascara. I am going to curl my lashes. I use the Kevin Acoin eyelash curler. Got to get the other eye. Okay, now I actually don't have a mirror really close, so I'm gonna use this tiny one from this blush that I got. I'm gonna use the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara and work it into the lashes. All right, that took a year, but it's finally done and I'm complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this everyday makeup look because this is what I look like most days. This is a very typical example of what I like to do. It's slightly glowy, slightly natural, but definitely still a lot of makeup on the face. The last thing I might actually do is add some of this Lana Lips. This is the tinted lip balm. It is, let's see, what did they say? For dry lips, create soft, hydrated, and pretty lips. Against animal testing made in Australia, blah, blah, blah. Greatness, greatness, greatness. So. Just adding that on for a little bit of extra shine. Usually I just wear it on its own. It's really lovely, to be honest. It's such a good lip gloss balm situation. Very hydrating, very good. Ugh, this hair is so bad. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm ready to go on with my day. I hope you enjoyed my everyday makeup look, a little bit of an updated winter edition. Um, yeah. These are some awesome products that I've been loving. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations of others or if you are loving some of these as well. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next Vlogmas video. And like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and let's continue this thing. Thanks.